Hello, good evening. Um, now, we do have the lovely ladies in. We have got Sarah, who's going to do the first demonstration. And then we've also got Vicky, who um, is off screen for the moment but we see now we've got lots of fantastic new today stamps from stamp addict so and i think you're going to really enjoy them and they are really really pretty this is the first one this is your lace heart oh and i must just show as well because it is deeply etched isn't it sarah it is, yeah deeply etched in gray rubber yeah so it, it's got longevity and lots of uses that mm. you can't always do with the clear stamps absolutely and it's already mounted for you, perfect. It is, yeah. And these, all the rubber ones today are designed by our American friends, Judikins. Oh, okay. So we make them under license, cling mounted. Yes. So this is the only place in the world you can get them cling mounted. Wonderful. See, this is good. <laughs> now look at these beautiful samples. Is this onto acetate, actually? Can you see? It is. It's yeah. a technique Vicky's going to show you later, oh. coloured on the back with diamond glaze. Oh, nice. And inks. Nice, I really like that. And then what about onto vellum parchment? Parchment, parchment yes. this one? Parchment. And you notice the top and bottom mm -hmm. is the next stamp. It's the lace background. Right, coming along. So yeah. they go perfectly together. But of course, you don't have to use all of the image. I like that. Nice little border. Yeah, because it gives you the waves yeah. from the heart. So yeah, it's That's got lots nice. of movement. And you know, my favourite bit of shrink plastic. <laughs> got to get that in there. I love my shrink plastic. Um, and then look how beautifully this has been coloured. That is really stunning. Oh, we're using some nice sparkle pens. Yeah, and when, when we first got that card, it was like, oh, how did she make the background so big? Yeah. She stamped it twice. Oh, okay. And hid it with the bit in the middle. Yeah, you see, that's yeah. clever. That is clever. And what about, uh, look at this beautiful sample. Again, extended it. It's very nice. So masking, our Eclipse masking tape. Stamp the first one, mask it. Yeah. Then stamp the second one so it appears behind it absolutely gorgeous now i'll show you some more samples a little bit later on because uh, obviously we're going to sort of do a well not a tag team because we're not touching we're just you know <laughs> <laughs> flip flopping <laughs> yeah Virtual okay tag team. Uh, so it's 999-255-332 is your item number then moving along this is lovely because you have got your mince lace background and that's the one you say look they go in tandem don't they they're they perfect do, yes they work beautifully together or individually indeed again you can see that wonderful etch there deeply etched you've got the thanks card in the front um, but look at this for a background it's just perfect or you know it's your focal point or in the background whatever you fancy that's that's really nice Sarah. and that's the white embossing powder that we've also got on the show aha so you can see all the detail it's beautiful there we go and that's the black detail embossing powder also in the show <laughs> <laughs> i like it and then we've got this beautiful sample um i love that so there's so many different ways you can just you can use it inky backgrounds you know Obviously, um, you can emboss, but these are such pretty, pretty designs. Very nice indeed. And look at that one. So, th so this one, you're sort of using it as a focal point, and this one, just in the background there, just that nice little extra touch. Yeah, that's it, just a bit of subtlety. Yes, nice. Um, 14 99 and it's big stamp, this one. 135382. Then moving along, this one is the colouring mandala. Now, if you love colouring, this is a brilliant one, this one. Uh, again, it's um, such a nice, large stamp. Look at this, good size. I have to say, this sample, sorry, this sample is really <laughs> pretty. It's really it fun. Is. Yes, um, Irene made that for our last show yep. with the sweet peas. Okay. But she used the mandala in the background. Doesn't it look like a printed paper? It does. It really yeah. does. And you're going to absolutely love colouring in. But if colouring in isn't your thing, how about just a nice inky background and then the stamp? And you've got. And the nice thing about this stamp uh, is that any occasion, isn't it? Yes. Absolutely anything. Yeah, anything. I think I use some oxide. So is it embossed with the black detail? Yes, it looks yeah. like it. Yes. And then some oxides over the top. Nice. This one's lovely. I love all those lemon colours. That's pretty. And sparkles. And spark. You know, I like my sparkles, <laughs> Sarah. There you go. And what about just on craft card? That was uh, very effective. So it's nice and subtle. It's it all is. in the greeting, then, isn't it? Yeah, that's gorgeous. That one's quite dramatic, actually. Quite like that one. Yeah, moody. <laughs> moody. And then I'll do one more. And again, we'll show you lots more samples. See, look how beautifully that has been coloured in. Stunning. Fourteen ninety nine again for the colouring mandala. Item number is three six four four six six. Okay, this time we've got some clear stamps. Yes. Yes. This is our second. Last last time was our first ever clear stamp set. Right. So <laughs> this is only our second. So lots of the samples had the, the wavy words in the wavy banners. Yep. So that's what we had last time. And this is Christmas. Christmas is coming. There you are. And then you've also got your... Um, 
uh, I love those little extras, your workers as I like to call them. Yeah, we, we've had it in rubber for a while but it's not as easy to use. This is the advantage of the clear. Yes. Because you've got the solid circles that you can use to colour mm. the wreath. Nice. But, because you can see through and then you can do all the multicolours as you'll see from the samples and all the little extras. Yeah, look at, I mean, look at this, how cute is this? It's really sweet. And then... Uh, this is, see, these are nice um, cards to batch make, don't you think, Sarah? Yes. Mm. Oh, yes. Yeah, very easy to sit there and, and make quite a lot of these and just maybe switch out your colours as you go. Yeah, absolutely. And also, I have to say, um, I quite like that there's, there's there are a lot of samples that don't have the traditional colours that you think of. Yeah. And nice. not no wreath in those ones. No. So it's just the flowers and a black pen to draw some lines. Absolutely. Look at this one. That's so sweet. It looks like it's got sweets on it. it yeah. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? I thought pom-poms. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh, now I like this one with the, th with the fairy lights around it. Yes, the fairy lights and the little fir branches. And it's got diamond glaze yep. on the light bulbs. There, I'm just giving that a wiggle, see if we can see it. That's so I call that Vicky's organic version yep. of the wreath because when it's mine, it's very clean yeah <laughs> <laughs> nice and then again let's do one more i love that background as well but the colors yeah. in this wreath are stunning very natural this one yeah it mm. is kind of earthy yes 22 stamps in total it is 10.99 351 849 and then we've also got which we've been chatting about yes. the um black and the white embossing powders and i love the trays you've put popped in yeah the tiny so it's a set of three yeah they just pull apart but we also keep the top section because when you're using the, the craft mat and the heat sheet, mm -hmm. it's great for just gently scraping off any powder that melts Lovely. on the sheet. Ah, see, that's But yeah, they, they fold up, they clip together. Yep. I've got one. <laughs> cool, we'll, we'll have a little look there. So you can see, it, they just, the, the corners just clip together. Ah. And they can stack inside each other. That's good, that's very good. Uh, so 14 99 remember you're getting the black and the white embossing powder, nice large tubs, and you've got the tiny trays, 14 99 039237. You can give us a call 01 733 60 2000 or have a look at the website at herchanda.com. And without further ado, I'm going to hand over to Sarah for the first demo. Take it away, Sarah. Okay, I'm going to use the wreath and what am I going to do? I'm going to stamp it in black. So I'm using my memento because I want to colour with some alcohol markers instead of the spots. So I'll show you later on how to use, to colour with the spots. I thought we'd give you some different options. Yeah. So we pop that down. Quite often I've been doing these with the grey ink you'll yeah. see on the samples, but this one, because it's going to be mainly green, I want it all in black so it stands out. Nice. It's a nice size wreath, this. It, yes. It's it just fits on the small I think is it the five five inch yeah. square crease cards. So that looks good. I don't think I need a second one. Now I've been using this stamp for a few weeks and I was finding yesterday it was kind of getting a bit fluffy and gritty, so I just chucked it in the sink, gave it a wash. Yes. And then it was all good. Right. Actually with your stamps, do you need any soap or anything or would you just you I know, didn't use any. Just water. No. Okay. So just yeah, I just use water. It depends how grubby it is, I suppose. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> okay, so I've chosen three green alcohol pens, and I'm just going to colour... I'm just going to show you a small section mm -hmm. of how I do it with the... in my clean style. So are you saying Vicky's messy? No, no, organic. <laughs> organic. Her, 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 ah. she, she just does it. I yeah. planned mine. <laughs> so it, it's, that always has a very different look, but I always, you know, straight edges, everything has to be square and lined up, mm -hmm. which doesn't always work. Yeah. Sometimes it's just better to be random. Okay. Are you doing all greens, are you, with this one? Yes. Three, as I say, three different greens yep. because I want the focus to be on the light bulbs. And when I glaze them. So I'm just, I say, if I just do a quarter to yeah. show you how it works. That's nice. I love colouring in. Well, that's something you can just sit and, you know, batch colour all of them, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Why sat in front of the telly? You can have, you know, your um, lap tray. 
or in the garden. Oh yes, yeah. so the weather's supposed to be picking up, I think, over the week. Nice tomorrow, but rain on Saturday. Oh, is it? I hadn't realised. <laughs> There's always a chance of rain, isn't yes, there? Yes, there is. <laughs> okay, so we've got, let's have a, we've got a little fir branch and a little holly. And I'm going to use the same green ink pad for both. Right. Which is eye zinc. Ah, yes. Menth. Month? Menth? Menth? Green. <laughs> yeah, the green. <laughs> Um, I'm Menthol, pretty, maybe, I don't yeah. know. I'm pretty sure you'll find those um, on the website. Oh, in fact, they're at the bottom of the screen. Lovely stuff. So I'm just going to random as I can yeah. without trying to organise them too much. Stamp the, the fir branches. They are so super cute. I love the size of them. And the little holly as well. Yeah. So... Make sure you turn your work around as you go so you're always working in the most comfortable position. Yeah, sometimes I find I don't do that and then I'm like, why am I twisting my arm up? Yeah, <laughs> and then they're all kind of at funny angles then yeah. as opposed to flowing around. Mm -hmm. So then, okay, so that's a little bit. If I do the whole thing, yes, it looks lovely. like that. So nice. Then we want, now in the set, are three teeny tiny little dots. Right. <laughs> and I'm going to use those with red, which is grenadine. And so are these the lovely little berries? These are the little berries. Now you can, you can go mad with the berries and stamp them everywhere, but yeah. I tend to aim for the dots that are already in the design. Okay. Just because it saves me having to think about it and place yes. them. <laughs> it nice. speeds up the process. And it's just you enjoying it then. Sometimes you just don't want to make a decision. No. So that makes it nice and easy. I've been starting my Christmas cards now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's just, just the right time, I feel now. Yeah. Well, it depends on the weather, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> if it's too warm, I'm like, no, no, not Christmas. Yeah. But tomorrow's if it's raining, going to be warm. Well. So tomorrow, yeah. you know, enjoy <laughs> the, the outdoors. Now we need, what do we need? Light bulbs. And is that in the same wreath set then? Yes. Good. Good. Light bulbs in the middle. Yeah. In amongst, you've got the circles. There's a snowflake. Mm. So we need some different colours now. For this, I'm going to use my little cleaning mat and spritz it with water so I can change colours. That's a cute little mat. I've not seen it before. I think we've sold out at the minute. Oh, yeah, so yeah. we need. Yeah, we need to try and get some more. So what am I using? Cassis, which Ooh. is purple. Yep. Always have to have some purple. Duh. Now try and work in odd numbers. Mm. Threes and fives. It's more pleasing to the eye, isn't it? Something like that? Apparently so, yeah. according to the experts. So, which is true. Then you're not trying to you know, line them up. Mm. So just a little rub on there. So that's purple. Let's have some Mer de Sud. Ooh, I like think the names. maybe the South Sea. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, all the French names. <laughs> now, because these are clear, if you miss a bit, obviously you can go back over it again mm. and line it up, which I've been doing, <laughs> which uh, you can't do with, with rubber. So, uh, again, yeah. one of the advantages. Oh, I did four. Ooh. Need another one. And then I'm going to finish off with some yellow. Oh, that would be nice and bright and stand out. Which is, I, I had to Google Translate. This one's wax. OK. C-I-R-E. Oh. I don't know how you say that. No, My I French isn't know. that great, so. But it means wax. <laughs> oh. I'm assuming beeswax, not any other kind <laughs> of wax. <laughs> wax. <laughs> so it's. That is looking really pretty now. Oh, yes. So we've got three. three. We'll go with three of those. And I have pre-cut a bow from the set to go hang over the top. You can hang it over the bottom. It depends where you want mm, it. Lovely. But the finishing touch is the diamond glaze. Okay. Now, don't shake the diamond glaze. Ah because you don't want air bubbles. Right. So of I'm course. just going to slowly turn it up 
and then gently squeeze to make sure it's coming through. No air bubbles. A little bit of air bubbles. Right. Now this is a fairly new bottle, mm -hmm. so it's still got a small hole at the top. As you know, when you've had it for a few years and maybe you've left it and not yeah. cleaned it and it clogs up, you, you slowly cut down and make a larger hole. Hence the nibs that come with right. the diamond glaze. And they're kind of like a self-tapping top. So you just put it on and tighten it and uh -huh. it screws on. That's cool. And the details are on screen for the diamond glaze with the three nickel-plated nibs and you've got the stainless steel pins for 999-644-140. So the pins are to poke through the nib just to clear it out but yeah. don't leave the pin in and don't leave the nib on wash it afterwards because diamond glaze is a permanent adhesive oh so then you won't get your pin out exactly right so because vicky's going to show you a different technique with the diamond glaze which is very different right. and coloring on cool. the backgrounds on the acetate so what i can do now is i can just actually pull out the one that's already dry right <laughs> just to help speed it up. So, where do you want it? Overhead, there we go. Yeah, perfect. So, can you see the diamond glaze? If you wiggle it. Can you see the shiny? Yeah, do you see, so, the oh, shiny I can see it on bit? the bow as well. Yes, yeah, just a little bit on there. So, that's the, that turn it around. Finished with the diamond glaze. Love it. Isn't that what a gorgeous card? How fun, just sit, relax, colour How simple. Colour in the oven. <laughs> it's lovely though, it's gorgeous, it's really effective. Um, so, I, I'm going to let you we'll do our thing, what we've got to do. Um, right, so let's show you some more samples from the Lace Heart. This is brand new today. It will come to you on the lovely grey rubber already mounted for you. Perfect, look at that. And it's really, really pretty, isn't it? Now, we've got some more samples. So what about onto a little bit of MDF stamping on there? That's really nice. Look at all of that, those lovely areas that you can colour in. But if you're not happy about colouring in, um, you can also just stamp and emboss like so. Isn't that nice? It's used as a pocket. That's pretty. And then if I bring this in, how lovely is that? So that's four hearts that have been layered around. Here we've got another one with that lovely white emboss. And not too difficult um, um, a shape to cut out at all. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So you can extend it out. I love the colours on this one, just so effective. It's quite dramatic, isn't it? And then I've got to finish off, of course, with our shrink plastic, because I love that. 9 99 for your heart stamp, it's 255332. Then moving along, we have got our mince lace background. Again, this is cling mounted. Where did I put it? And it comes to you like this. So it's a really, really nice, large stamp. This is pretty, isn't it? Nice pastel colours. And then, again, you could maybe get your watercolours on there. And you can have it as a real focal point. That's really pretty. I like that. And then with that aperture showcasing it. Completely different there because it's in the background instead of the foreground. Uh, this is also really pretty, the way it's been done. Nice bit of sparkle going on. Um, you could stamp onto parchment or vellum, totally up to you. Isn't that nice? And it's for any occasion, this, and it's such a lovely large stamp. 14 135382 Next, we've got our gorgeous mandala. Loving this mandala. Again, it's a really nice large stamp. Where have I put it again? Um, and you can colour in. It's really, really pretty, isn't it? Look at that. Deeply etched. Love that sample. So cute. And then I've got more samples here. Ah, oh, look, stay safe. That would be nice just to send to somebody, just to say you're thinking of them. Um, ooh, there's a large card on a, on a tag. Very nice. This one's good fun. Nice and easy to do. Get that lovely wash of a background and stamp. Ah, see, okay, let's look at this. So this is teaming it with some other stamps. Let me do it that way. Teaming it with some other stamps and then it's kind of, uh, you can see it's in the background there. Lovely. Another really nice bright one for you to colour in. And then let's let's finish off with that lovely moody one. And so your stamp is 14.99. Item number is 364466. Then we've got our lovely ball ball wreath. Now these ones are your clear stamps. Um, we're approaching 20% of the stock gone. You've got 22 stamps in total. 
and you've got the bows, all of those wonderful extras. I love that you've even got that little, um, you know, the lights there. That's cool. This is a nice fun one. Really lovely and bright. I mean, you, this doesn't say Christmas to me. Um, you like in terms of that's just a really nice fun wreath of balls. And then we've got this one that's um, kind of you can really extend it, can't you? With all your extras that you get. And then this is pretty. We're just adding those flowers on top. How lovely is this? Uh, making it Christmassy. Here's our, look, there you go. Here's our lovely bow that's been coloured in. That's pretty, making it like that. And then let's bring this one in, uh, last one, for the Merry and Bright on the craft card. 10.99, item number is 351849. And then we've got the embossing powders. They are lovely and detailed. You get the black, you get the white, and you're getting those tiny trays that will slot together. You could stack them inside each other if you want to. 14.99, that's a good price for what you're getting there. 14.99, 039237. Again, you can call us on the usual number, 01733602000, or check out at hachanda.com. And now we're going to um, hand over to Vicky. Hello, Vicky. Hello, hi, nice. Hello, lovely. So I've got my uh, shrink plastic. Yeah, you know I love that. You know, you know so I love that. I've got the gold one today. I'm gonna pop this in. And I'm using my pigment stays on because you need your permanent ink going onto the shrink plastic or I any plastic. Yeah. Yeah, they've brought out the new one with the pigment ink, the mm, stays on. Cool. And it's nice. It's a, uh, yeah. So let's see if we can get this out in one. That's a good one. Cool. There we go. That's, nice. That's lovely. So we need to trim that. Oh. There we go, I've got one ready trimmed. That ah, you've done it already. Of, yeah, that's yeah. going to save me plenty of time. So, oh, need some scissors or something just in case it flies away. Okay. Okay. Here we go, I love it. Um, so, Rianne, I've got to ask you, my producer, have you seen shrink plastic before? Okay. Has she not? No. Oh, here we go. This is the fun bit. Oh, please don't stick, please don't stick. <laughs> It's like a snake. Ah! So, because um, I remember the f basically Rianne's reaction is the same as my reaction was the first time I ever saw it. It's just really cool. Come on, keep going. There Come we on. go, keep going. Come on. Keep going. And then will it uncurl itself? Come on. Hoping so. Oh, it might have stuck a little bit there. Come on. Oh, careful with fingers. Oh, there we go. Pulled it apart. Good stuff. Usually I'd use a pair of normal scissors and poke them in and open yeah. them out. Yeah. But I haven't got any to hand, so we've managed it there. Oh, that's gonna... like a butterfly. Look it at is, that. isn't it? So generally, you want to keep heating until it stops moving. Yes. It's such cool stuff, this. So I'm just going to turn that one over and that's heat it. from the back. Oh, so it never gets old. It's like embossing. It never gets old. Oop, there you go. Put the back over. That's it. And if so, oh, yeah. So top tip is just to give it a little press, is it? Yeah, I'm just put placing an acrylic block just gently on there. Just place it down. Just I want it flat. Yeah. If it was a butterfly, I'd probably leave it all nice and yeah. curly. There we go. Should we do another one? Yes, please. I've got one more. Yay. I need two for my card. So this time, just a little tip, anti-static bag. Ah, OK. Little bit of powder on there. So if it curls up this time, it shouldn't stick to itself. That's good. Love I it. do forget sometimes. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> Just get carried again. away. <laughs> Once you get shrink plastic in your life, it's like addictive. You can put it in the oven. You don't need to do it with a heat gun. Yep. So you can, you know, if you've got young children and they want to go, pop it all in the yeah. oven. You can sit there and watch it curl up and That's flatten cool. out. Love it. Look at that. That one went quicker, actually, didn't it? It did. The heat gun was hot. Yeah. And the... The surface was already warm, so nice. it will do. There we go. There and we do we go. have any of your shrink plastic on the web? Yes, Excellent. there's the gold and silver. Ah, nice. We've got clear, white, frosted, Amazing. all sorts on That's there. That's at the bottom of the screen, I can see. Uh, 1099 777431. So when you've, if you've dusted with powder like I did, you just brush it off. Okay. Or a damp tissue and it comes off really easily. So we're going to create the card. 
So for that, I'm going to use the lacy background. Right. And it's probably just a sheet of paper in my here. I'd do that. I wouldn't want my stamp platform to get mucky. No, Sarah tells me off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As she says, I'm a bit um, of an organic crafter, um, whatever I, I feel like to that. do. I, I just try it, whereas Sarah's like, it's a plan. So yeah, I might do get things a bit messy sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp this on the edge to create a little border. So let's get it all in position. That's it, I'm happy with that. And... I'm going, I'm using a clear ink pad for this. Okay. I'm going to stamp the right side, yep. I just want the section of this. And it's probably a good idea to just anti-static oh, yeah, that good first. Point. I like your little anti-static bag holder. It, I think it's a business card Is holder. Is it? Yeah, I like that. But it's that. really, Cute. because I travel with it, it's kind of useful. Yeah, you don't want the, the dust everywhere. Yeah, we have little, uh, other little open pots that's that back at the workshop. But that's my travel one. <laughs> There we go. Um, have I got enough? I'm not sure. Just going to go that again. That's to make sure I've got plenty of ink on there. Yeah, that's the beauty of the stamp platform, isn't it? It is, yes. Yeah, that looks good this time. Excellent. Oops. Oh dear, my magnet's stuck together. So, I see, so that's how that little tray works. That's cute. Yeah, so although it's quite small, you can still do fairly big cards by just tipping your powder. There we go. Pop that on there. Got a little edge there, just brush that off. Don't want that. And then the great thing about these pots is they've got a lovely wide neck. Yeah. So it's really easy to pop your powder back in. I and need these little go. trays. They're pop very handy. Off. So oh, a little bit in there. Let's just get rid of that. And I'll just emboss this. So you can see when it's all nice and shiny. Lovely. It's a really nice detailed embossing powder, isn't it? Yeah, there's such fine lines on this design that you really need a detail powder. The yeah. regular powders don't always show all the detail. There we go. See that's going nice and shiny. Mm -hmm. I love watching it. This is also a really nice stamp to colour in. Get your fine pens in there and all those lovely grooves. You can make your own colouring book, really. You could, yeah. Yes. There we go. So I've got my gold hearts to go on there. So I'm going to add a touch of gold. I'm going to colour just a few Why of the not? flowers. So I've got a gold pencil. And we're just going to colour a few of the bits in there so it all ties in nicely together. Lovely. So you've got nice flowers as part of this image in there. Almost a little bit of mandala as well. Yeah, there is. There's yeah. flowers, you've got the sort of leaves. There's all sorts, isn't there? What's your angel policy, policy for like, making your cards to sell and all that? Um, if you're, as long as you're hand making them yourself, yeah. That, yeah, that's fine. Excellent. Okay, yeah. so we can colour some more on there. So let's get this all put together. All right, so I've got one I've finished few more flowers. Fabulous. Again, I've used our banner set to create a little word. Yep. And just a little strip of black, or you could use some ribbon or something to tie it all together. So I'm going to pop that on there. There we go. And just hide the top of that little... There we go, that hides the top nicely. I love that banner. Gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, this, yeah there's size. lots of different words in the set. Mm. And now to stick the shrink, being that it's a plastic, I'm just going to use the diamond glaze. Okay. Because it's permanent, so it works for this. Mm -hmm. I hadn't thought of that, but yeah. Good point. Uh oh, is it uh -oh, bunged? This one's. That's probably my one, I'll use Sarah's <laughs> instead. <laughs> okay. It's always the case, though, with glues and things on air, it just uh, always happens. Yeah, it's just one of those things, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. That looks so pretty. Ooh, I think I've got a bit much on there. Hold on. Didn't want that much. Might ooh, ooze out. There we go. That is really nice. It's there a little bit go. different as well. So let me if that's so you can see in the light. Let's turn it round. 
Hopefully it won't fall off. <laughs> Hopefully it won't slide down. Yeah. There we go. Oh, nice. Like that. That's really beautiful. Yeah. So effective. And just the gold, the black and the white, it all really pops. Yeah, nice and simple. Yeah. Like you saw the white and with the red as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah, it's all colourways would work. Yeah. Good stuff. Thank you very much, Vicky. OK, I'll do another quick recap for you while, we, um, while Sarah comes back to join us. So we've got our lovely brand new today stamp. Again, just to point out, it's cling mounted. Um, onto the grey rubber, nice deep etch. And then I'll just show a few samples again, just a couple. Look, that's really pretty, isn't it? I love the colours to that, absolutely gorgeous. And then we've got our nice uh, shrink plastic one. And then what about using it for just, you know, just the corners? That's really pretty, isn't it, onto the parchment, I like that. Uh, so that one is 9.99, and it's 255332. Then moving along, this is such a lovely large stamp. This is the mince lace. Again, it's um, grey rubber and already mounted for you. I think this is such a pretty card. Again, just the pink and the white. It really, really pops, doesn't it? So pretty. And then I love this in the blue. I think that's under parchment as well. And then a real gorgeous centerpiece, like so. Is there something inside? Oh, I wasn't sure. No, that's all right. And then let's do one more with this one. All that lovely colouring in. I think it's watercolours. Marvellous. 14 99 Item number is 135382. Um, next one then. Uh, this one is the Mandala. Whether you want to colour it in, just stamp and emboss. See, I think that sample is just amazing. I really like that. It's been coloured in so beautifully. And then we've got um, stamped onto the craft card. I think maybe there's maybe a stencil as well, possibly. And then we've got this one, lovely and sunny and bright. Check this one out. Isn't that pretty? I really like that of the yellow. And of course, with your mandala, it's any occasion. Could be birthday, could be um, wedding, could be, I don't know, retirement anything really 1499 uh, 364466 is the item number and then we'll just touch on of course our lovely christmas bauble wreath <coughs> which like we've been saying it doesn't have to be um christmas because i mean that one's really fun and funky take the sentiment out it's just a lovely fun wreath um you've got lots lots of extras you've got sentiments you've got those gorgeous bows the little lights lots of workers in this collection there's 22 stamps in total uh, i think the, you haven't seen these ones yet that's pretty i like it's got the little sign and the bow bit different nice and bright lovely colors really i like the clashing colors bit different and then we've got our more traditional gorgeous sample look this lovely one has got the lights on aren't they nice you can just catch it there and then we've got this one here, which is really pretty. Looks like it's got sweets on. And then last one, let's check this out with that gorgeous, colourful background. 10.99 and you're getting 22 stamps. Um, item number is 351849. Uh, now um, we're going to hand back to Sarah. There it is. Okay. Going back to the wreath, the bauble okay, wreath. Okay, fine. Because there are so many different things you can do with it. So this time I'm using uh, Grey Memento. It's a London Fog because I want the colours to pop more than the wreath. Yeah. The, so I'm going to use the, the spots or the circles or the baubles, whatever you want to call them. So we're just going with a pale grey. Yep, that's all good. We'll just give that a quick clean before I pick it up. And then I'm going to put a greeting in the middle of this one. We've got a... Was it? May your days, I, don't, I can't read backwards, may your days be merry and bright. Yeah. So I can pop that in the middle there. Do that in the same grey. It's nice for the grey because it's softer. Yes. Yeah, that's it, I'd say, because we want it to be about the colour. Yeah and the, the bauble. So I'm going to take this out and then this is where the fun begins. 
So we, you get four different size mm -hmm. spots or okay. balls in the set. And I'm going to get some colours. So I've gone with Ocean, Cerise, yep. and the Mint, Month, Mint. <laughs> I, gotta, I have to fast find someone French yeah. that can tell me how to say this. Mm -hmm. So I like to start with the, the largest one as my preference. And I usually keep a bit of kitchen towel to hand so I don't put my hand in the ink. Yeah, now. good point. I usually start with a pink or a purple because it's my favourite. And I couldn't tell. <laughs> Could you not? No. The hair didn't give it away. <laughs> Speaking of that, your hair's really grown since the last time I've seen you. Yes. Yeah, it has. It has, yes. Yeah. I had to cancel my hairdresser's appointment last week. So, um, yes, I think five months now. Oh, yeah, I'm about the same. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, it was kind of an emergency pink. <laughs> now, I missed a little bit, so I'm just going to go back over it. So, so I have a complete... Do the little spots, do they fit these spots perfectly, if you know what I mean? Well, no, because it's all hand-drawn. Oh, I see, I see, I so see. So roughly. Okay. They fit roughly. That's cool. We're not aiming for perfect perfection. It's just... Okay, and then clean that off. And let's do a different one. I, I tend to do all of one size yeah. and then move to another one. And I personally like to stick to three colours. Okay. So I, it's not too busy, it's not too overwhelming. Yes. With choices. Ocean, ocean, ooh. And they do overlap. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid to, because then you get different shades in between. Ooh, now let's have another. Okay, I've got one, I think one big one left there. Right. Nice. So that's the biggest one and then we move down to the next size and it's just playing yeah really like and you can really get in a rhythm with this can't you yeah yeah it's nice uh, and the ice inks are really juicy and vibrant which is why uh, we were liking these uh, I think Vicky did some with some distresses as well which yeah. is nice but not quite as bright yeah and we wanted, we want bright Christmas this year. I think we deserve a bright, vibrant Christmas. Love it. And at the bottom of the screen, by the way, we do have the 40 inks of the is ink, eyes ink. And that's another one I can't remember. Eyes ink. <laughs> I, it is eyes ink. I, I ink it. Eyes ink it. Oh, <laughs> I like that. That's 20. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going with it. That make, makes sense to me. I just made it up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's at the bottom of the screen, £29.98, 705640. We'll have to ask John. Yes. He'll know. So you just keep going and fill in your... I mean, you don't have to fill them all in. No. You could leave some blank ones. Could put some snowflakes in it. Yeah, why not? Or they could be bubbles. Yeah. Ooh. Now, uh, what I did to the, the crease card, so it's not just plain, is I went back to the, the largest spot. Yeah. And I just did some random, so, oh, missed a bit, let's go back. Some random spots in the background. Yep. And that, like, so that would coordinate. Yeah. Because I like coordinating things, things that line up, you know. <laughs> That's right. What Steve-O put? Steve-O's emailed in. Hi, Steve. Uh, saying, uh, good evening, Sarah, Vicky, Alex and all at Hachanda. Hi to the crew this hour. Oh, bless you. Uh, loving all these new stamps, uh, both the rubber and the clear, especially the lace ones and how the mandala can be full of bright colour or just mono. Um, always lovely. Oh, always lovely to see Sarah and Vicky's inspiring demos, and Sarah's hair looks great. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Oh, what's this, Alex? I don't start my Christmas cards till around the end of September. Lovely. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Stevo. Not everyone's brave enough to leave it that long. No, because I've done that previously. Every year I say I'll like start and do a couple, literally, couple in January, couple in February, and try and do it that way, and never comes off. So, and then I always end up literally running out of time. So I've decided, nope, nope, I'm going to make myself do it now. 
Well, we'll be back on the 28th of this month with lots of new Christmas. Lovely stuff. Yes, I think we're doing Christmas in July, aren't we? Yes. yes. We used to do Christmas in July. Yes. <laughs> so we're going back to Christmas in July, which is nice. Right, so I have already pre-coloured a layer yep. with the cerise to coordinate. Because nice. we know I like to coordinate. Indeed. So I just need to layer up my bits together. And then it will look like this. Can you see? Excellent. What I made earlier. <laughs> That's cool. That's so pretty. I love how bright that is. And it's just very different colours for Christmas. Yeah. Nice and vibrant and fun. Yeah, because I think you're absolutely right. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the traditional green and, and all of that. But yeah, sometimes it is really nice well, Especially to if you want to sit down and engage your kids or yeah. your teenagers. Well, you do this with me. Choose your colours. Yeah. I mean, they might go very dark, but some, you know, yeah. nice and bright. There you <laughs> go. Thank you very much, um, Sarah. Uh, uh, again, I'll do a quick recap while we um, do our little tag team thing. And this is our lovely new today. I mean, that's such a pretty sample, isn't it? I love that. You've got your deeply etched grey rubber. They're lovely size stamps so that they'll be a real focal point. But there's so much detail to these. I think I showed those ones. So hang on, let's get you some of the other ones from underneath. Um, onto a little bit of acetate. That works really nicely. That's, I really like how that catches the light. So detailed. A um, little bit of masking you can do. That again works really well. Love the colours. Um, this one is nice because it's four of them been cut out. And the heart is not, it's not, you know, that um, difficult to cut. It's not, not too much fuss at all. This is really nice. There's the little pocket. What a great idea. You could put a gift, gift card in there. And then we've got our lovely MDF heart. How nice is this? And just adding a few little gemstones because there's places for you um, that work really well. Okay, so this is 9 99 for our gorgeous stamp. Item number is 255332. Then coming along, we've got our mince lace background. And then look at this nice, large stamp. It's a real focal point. It's fab. I like this in the soft colours. That works well. Any occasion. So this one is just sending you love. Just, to, you know, just you could pop that or you could pop... Congratulations with it. I'm loving it on the uh, parchment. I think that looks so pretty. This one might be my favourite though. It's just there. It's bold. I love the I love the colours, the the pink and the white. Really nice and crisp, and it really pops. And then we've got our one with thanks there, and then another butterfly in the background. And then so either have it as the foreground or have it as the background because it's just just neatly at the back there with. Um, the lovely die cut of the honeycomb. 14 99 and it is a large, large stamp. Uh, 135382 is the item number. Um, are you ready to go, Vicky? Oh, yes. yes. This is cool. <laughs> there we go. Let's <laughs> hand over to you. <coughs> so I've got the other nice, large mandala stamp here. Yep. And I've popped that ready. I've got a piece of acetate this time. So I've, again, I've got some just paper behind it so I can see where I'm going. Yep. And I'm just using the black stays on because it's a plastic, so you need your permanent ink on there. So you've got to ink it up really nicely. Yes, you do. Hoping that it doesn't move in the folder because sometimes the acetate does move a little bit. <laughs> so let's see I forget about this. stamping onto acetate and I think it's such a nice look. It is, yeah. I haven't done it for a while. Yeah. So this, we haven't actually done this technique with a diamond glaze for a while. Oh, okay. Sarah said, why are you doing it the wrong way round? I didn't say wrong. Well, no, you didn't say wrong, but why are you putting that on first? I was like, because I wanted to and it works this way. Yeah, there so you go. <laughs> why did you always do it that way? <laughs> so, if it works. Right. Ah, oh, so again, a little bit missing in the middle there. So I'll just add a little bit more. I wouldn't be without my stamping platform. It's fabulous. Oh, just going to lean yeah. right forward. <laughs> it's normally what I tell everyone, just use your body weight, stand yeah. up and lean on yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. But obviously I'm standing, so it's quite high yeah. to push. Let's see, hopefully we've done... Uh, see, it's lifted. Yeah, we got enough there. Nice. That's it. Oh, oh, that one out. And leave that one to dry. Okay, so because I'm on acetate, it's not a heat proof. 
So otherwise, I would kind of heat set just to make it on a little bit. Okay. So just be very gentle mm. if it's not a heat proof acetate, which this is not. So yeah, just want to, just a quick blast. Just take off the dampness there a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to just turn it over. Hopefully it doesn't smudge, but you'll still get the idea if I yeah. do smudge it a little bit. Place it down. Lovely. So, our diamond glaze. Uh-huh. I'm intrigued. Okay, so I'm just going to... See, this is... We always Ooh, never did this over. bit first. Yeah, I'm doing a big splodgy all over there. Okay. And I'm just... Got a nice water... Uh, just a brush. And I'm just going to damp it down. Just dry that off so it's not too wet. Oh, so the water doesn't affect it's it? It's water-based. Oh. So, yes, it's a water-based um, dimensional adhesive. And no, it's great because this is the first time I've seen it. Um, I'm sure there'll be um, other people. Uh, like, uh, so I'm just... Questions. So I'm spreading it out there. Yeah, because I said to Sarah, well, what, you can't, why can't we do this with PVA or something? She went, oh, because it's not permanent. It peels yeah. straight off the acetate. Yeah, good point. Right, so I spread it quite thin, so I need to work a little bit quickish now. So I've got the uh, eye zinc pigment droppers. Lovely. So again, it was, we used to use the... Uh, oh, that's a big blob. We used to use water-based, with because the glue's water-based, the diamond glaze, so we'd normally use water-based reinkers. Mm -hmm. But the pigment ones, I've tried them, and they work just as well. Wonderful. And some of these are slightly pearlescent as well, which is really nice. So yeah, you can try adding, mixing in all different things. So I've just got three different colours. Have they, because I, I can't quite see from here, have they got a mic it in or...? Um, or just a some of the colours seem oh, to. OK. Yeah. If you give them a good shake, they seem to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. OK, so again, I'm going to come back with my brush, which is slightly damp, and just move those colours. I generally start with one, because you don't want to mix and end up with a sort of a brown. Yeah. I'm just going to move some green around a little bit. I'm so intrigued at how this is going to look and how it's going to set. It's cool. Oh, unfortunately, it won't be set by the end of I the know. show. <laughs> but I do have one that's dry, yeah, yeah. obviously. But obviously, I've got to show you the whole Absolutely. process. Um, what? Um, is it uh, too much of a how long is a piece of string? But how long does your diamond glaze uh, take to set? And is it different on different surfaces? Like, would it take longer on this acetate than it would on card? Uh, oh, it really Sarah's depends nodding. on the thickness <laughs> of right. the diamond glaze. Okay. For the light bulbs, some of them, we did quite a big blob. Yeah, yeah. So the thickness of it would really yeah. determine how mm -hmm. long. Leave it overnight, maybe. Yeah. For this project, possibly, yeah, well, I would give it a few a couple of hours, maybe. But okay. the light bulbs, they're generally yeah. dry within 15, 20 minutes. Nice. Little bits. Now, see, in the past, as Sarah said, we used to always put the reinkers on first, uh -huh. the colour, yep. and then we'd add the diamond glaze. Whereas I've just spread it all out and I'm now sort of painting to me. Yeah. <laughs> it, you do have to be a little bit faster, so because I spread it out, it's going to dry a bit quicker yeah. that way. So what I've got is a piece of tissue. Okay. Tissue paper. Right. Oh, yes, sorry. Oh, I'm some just going to screw up my bit of tissue paper <laughs> and leave that there for a moment. Yep. And my glitter. <laughs> oh, bit of glitter in here. So, yeah, I'm talking. just going to sprinkle. Just, just, oh, just throw it on. Oh, just however much or as little as you like. Cool. There we go. Thank you for reminding me, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, OK, then my tissue paper. So I screwed it up to give it a nice crumpled effect yep. rather than having it smooth. I think this piece I found was off-white, creamy coloured. Yep. So it depends, you know, if you don't usually see it through. And then, let's just push it down. Okay. So that helps seal the glue. Right. There we go. But it does come through the tissue a little bit, but that all comes off. It's water-based, it washes off. Indeed. So let's flip this over. Okay. There we go. Can you see? Yeah. Obviously, I've got quite a lot of glitter in that version. <laughs> so, yeah, that's going to take a little while to dry. Uh -huh. So, we can pop that one aside. And I can show you. So, I have a dry one here that I've trimmed down. It looks really effective. So, I've effective. just trimmed the edges. It's the same colourways. Mm. Um, I'm going to pop a little bit of tape on. So, you will need quite a strong tape 
to stick this. Yeah. Because it's your acetate. Lost my scissors again. Am I going to do this? I don't think this is strong enough for this. <laughs> <laughs> Mine are all gunked up. Oh, I've got some great cleaning stuff to get the glue off. Oh, have you? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sarah doesn't like my scissors because mine are always <laughs> sticky. <laughs> but I clean them regularly every yeah. couple of days. Ah, oh, I see. Sarah you haven't used them for anything sticky, Sarah, so they would be clean. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I really like that technique. I really want to try that when I get home on the acetate. I just, li I just like the look of it. It is, but yeah, stained glass. Oh it? yes, you can mix. You could mix those colours, mm -hmm. inks, in a little pot with your diamond glaze and paint it if you Lovely. wanted to stain glass and actually colour it yourself. Yeah. So I've popped a little insert in my card just to hide that. So there we go. That looks so pretty. Up. And then you could batch make these as well and then any sentiment, you know, if it's somebody's birthday, quick, put a sentiment on. Yeah, or, you could, yeah. yeah. Any occasion for this, That's isn't right. it? Yeah. Lovely. Thank you very much, Vicky. Thank you. Uh, we've got just a few minutes left just to do one final recap of what we've got on the show. Uh, we have got here our lovely embossing powders. You're getting the white, you're getting the black and you also get our fabulous little trays. They're cute, aren't they? I like these little trays. I need some. Uh, 14 39 is your item number. And then we've got our clear stamps with the wreaths. And um, uh, Sarah's first demo was with this one. And the second demo, actually. It's both of Sarah's demos were with this one, if you want to watch on Rewind. But you've got lots of lovely extras going on. I like there's the little sign here. That's cool, isn't it? There you are. Um, and the lovely little bow. And then look at these lovely, happy colours. They're pretty, aren't they? So you've got the welcome. And then you've got your, this is gorgeous, a little bit of gold in the centre uh, with your happy birthday. See, again, it doesn't have to be Christmas. could be any occasion. Uh, this is a sweet one on the craft card. It's nice. And I'm assuming that that's diamond glaze on there too. It's diamond glaze, yeah. Excellent. The heart on the corners. <laughs> yeah, I really like those. Yeah, yep. And then this one's a really sweet one. So it's kind of a really nice bouquet, isn't it? And then let's do one more. Look, there you go from this collection. With the, I like that with the little flowers on. £10.99. Uh, item number is 351849. Then we've got the lovely mandala that um, that Sarah, uh, sorry, Vicky, Vicky was just using, and it's such a nice one. Look at that big stamp, nice and bold, wonderful to colour in. <laughs> and then we've got these gorgeous bright colours. It really lends itself. It's happy, isn't it? Um, what about stamping onto a bit of craft card? And then what about colouring in? This has been fantastically coloured in. Love that. Uh, just in the background, it's, very, ve it's a very, very useful stamp. I think those parts are taken from it too. And then we've also got this gorgeous one that's full of wonderful colour. 14 364 Next then, we have got the um, lace background. And it's another really nice large size. Check this one out. So you can use all of it, you can use part of it, it's totally up to you. And let's get those samples. I keep being drawn to this one, I love this one. How pretty is this? Gorgeous with the pink and the white, it just looks so fresh and inviting. Uh, that's another lovely one. We can go with some nice watercolours. And then we've got, where's that other one gone? Oh, I can't find it. Beautiful though, 14.99. Item number is 135382. And then last but not least, let's just show you the uh, lace heart. And uh, 9.99 for this. There you go. Look at these beautiful samples. Aren't they great? 9.99 while you're just having a little look there at these samples. 255332 is your item number. Uh, now, thank you very much, Vicky.
Thank you, Alex. Thank you. And um, thank you also to lovely Sarah, because I know we can't all be in the same place at the same time, but thank you very much. You can order after the hour. They are beautiful, um, new today stamps. Uh, of course, you're going to get such a good impression because they're on that lovely grey rubber. Um, and also, of course, we've got the, uh, the reeds of the clear too. Um, thank you very much for keeping us company. You can call us on the usual number or you can check out on the website. And we'll be back after this short break.